Impressive stuff by Levon Aronian, the winner of the Gold Money Asian Rapid. Congratulations, Levon. Thank you very much. Wow. Well, this was a short day. Surprisingly, you, you beat him in only two games. Take us through your emotions right now. Uh, yeah, before uh, today, uh, I mean, in the morning when I was preparing, uh, I made the strategy Then uh, I have to press, I have mm -hmm. to continue doing the same what I was doing. And, uh, you know, because uh, when you're trailing in a match and then you lose one game, uh, it's already like almost finished. Mm. So I wanted to keep this uh, fighting spirit that I had uh, against uh, um, Magnus and also uh, yesterday I wanted to keep it going mm -hmm. and I think it worked out pretty well. Well yeah definitely I actually noticed the first game uh, you spent only six minutes on the clock from the original time and this last game I think it was like five minutes you spent in that game. What is that feeling when you're when the moves are just coming to your intuition just seems to be working so perfectly? Yeah Actually, you know, when I played uh, in this last game, when I played knight f1 and he went c4, I started really doubting myself. I said, like, what am I doing? Uh, uh, this might not work. But then I saw bishop g5 and knight f6, knight takes e5. Once I have the knight e5, uh, it, it just uh, completely changes the whole assessment of position, this uh, tactical idea. I think and we can then, actually, uh, David can bring it up on the board and you guys can take us through it. It would be interesting to see. Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned Levon, so you started to doubt yourself at this position after knight f1 and c4? Yeah, I thought, okay, knight c4 or f5, I was, okay, mm -hmm. I definitely have to take mm -hmm. on f5 at any cost. And then what do I do? Mm -hmm. And, and well, yeah, maybe c4 is a mistake, actually. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, that, oh, no, wait, I, I do have that check, right? Uh, so f5, e, f, g, f, bishop, g5. And if knight f6, knight e5, uh, d, d6, and I have bishop c4 check. Nice. <laughs> oh, wait, is there knight d5 at the end? Oh, uh, bishop f6. Ah, oh, bishop f6 in this position, sorry. So here the idea is check, but the knight can block. So, or oh, wrong knight, but um, actually, yeah, no, you're right here. Wrong. Just takes. The right knight. Yeah. This, is, this is probably better for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it should be seriously better because uh, this pin is going to be a factor. Nice. <laughs> You're impressed, yeah. David. I'm very impressed, yeah. <laughs> and um, when no, you... I, I also didn't see this, because I was, uh, at the moment, just worried that I'm going wrong. And then uh, once uh, the position was there after bishop g5, I started calculating. <laughs> and, well, I didn't see knight f5 right away. I thought that I will recapture on the seven, but knight f5 just looks like a completely killing move, because if he goes knight f6, then just knight g7, mm -hmm. and then uh, even just queen f3, yeah, I'm going to make him somehow. Mm. Were, you, were you surprised he lashed out actually with f5 so quickly rather than just kind of building up and keeping the tension? If you don't see this idea with knight e5, mm -hmm. you kind of think that black is taking over with f5. Mm -hmm. And you say, okay, if I don't have this knight f5, I'll go e4 and things somehow will work out. But knight g3, this is what I calculated. If he takes on c3, mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. this is also an interesting moment. Mm -hmm. If he takes uh, bishop c3, uh, I can just play bishop e7. Mm -hmm. Bishop e1, just knight f5. And uh, this knight is such a beast because uh, I can protect and bring my queen into the game. d6 is hanging. Yeah. E f queen takes f3. Uh, everything is falling apart. Uh, well, there must be a reason why... Uh, Black is, un uh, I mean, the, the development uh, means something. And we we're taught <laughs> when we we're little, try to develop your pieces. <laughs> that I'm <Yeah>. just learning. <laughs> that is what I'm working on right now, developing pieces. But uh, Levon, this tactic that you're talking about, that you came into today with that fighting spirit, after playing seven tournaments now in the tour, have you found that this is the perfect strategy in this format, in, in the Melto of the Champions Chess Tour, to just always go after your opponent, go fighting? Well, um, I have to say I was, of course, lucky against Magnus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Haven't I been lucky in that match where I was blundering everything? We won't be sitting here and saying how <laughs> smart... <laughs> intelligent my tactic was 
<laughs> <laughs> well, sports always uh, needs a little bit of luck as well. Don't you think that? Yeah, but uh, I think I only played well today. Mm. I cannot say I played well. Uh, I mean, today and yesterday, last two games. Uh, wait, uh, I, yeah. Yep. I think they were good games. Yep, also definitely. Fun. All right. Well, Lavon, uh, we know you're in Paris, of course. How will this be celebrated, the big win and the gold money Asian Rapid? Uh, I guess, well, I have to go home and pack and then get ready for the World Cup. So not so much celebration, but I will definitely maybe allow myself a glass of wine. Mm, I think you deserve that, definitely. And of course, yeah, World Cup, what will be the big aim for you there? Is it just game by game or do you have a big goal, a big final there uh, that you are really hoping to go to? It's a knockout. You can never have a clear goal because you don't know when the mistakes will come. Just to try and to take it easy and just relax and try to calculate and not blunder things. <laughs> Sounds like the perfect tactics. Uh, you must be going into it on a high level. And if things do go to tie breaks in the World Cup, will you be using similar strategies to the, uh, to the games that you have been doing here? Um, well, I'll definitely try to show my fighting spirit. I don't know about the strategy because uh, I have to think about it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't work when you're just repetitively trying to do the same, unless you're Magnus Carlsen. <laughs> of course. But for us, for us mortals, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, I have to adjust and uh, try to improve. So far, I'm very happy with uh, what uh, I had in this rapid. And, you know, it was definitely much better than, than the rapid tournament I played just recently mm. in Paris. So I'll try to learn from my experience in this tournament. Yeah, well, we are certainly impressed and so happy for you, Levon. Congratulations again and enjoy that glass of wine today. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you for joining us.